All right, there it is, the Omra Art 2250, number three. And Peely Farmer Man here is going to show you how to assemble this gizmo. So what have you got there? Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's got the clamp and the main uh, crank. We put this little book here to protect the chair. And then you tighten it on the bottom. Uh, we take this pusher and put it into the sieve. And it's got a little uh, cross in there. You gotta line that up with the piece on here. And then this locks in onto that. Yay! <laughs> then, uh, somebody's excited about the squisher. There's a little grommet that goes on the bottom of the dish. Which way does it have to And this go. tray sends the tomatoes down to your waiting pot. It goes over like so and clips. And this just screws on top. The tomatoes go in here. Just to, to boil the tomatoes. And then you've got a little plunger to push the tomatoes down into there. All right. Excellent. Okay. You're probably wondering why we've set this up on a chair rather than the table. Um, it's just because we don't have anything at the proper height to catch the tomato puree coming out of the machine um, if the machine's attached to the table. So what we just do is we just uh, set it up on a chair and then we just have an old table underneath, throw a bunch of old towels down and uh, we're good to go. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is have some sort of a little container at this end of the strainer to catch the skin and the seeds that will be coming out. Okay, so we've got a pot of boiling water, a load of uh, washed tomatoes, rinsed off, and a strainer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dunk those tomatoes into the boiling water. Their skins will crack. I'll throw them into the strainer, and then from the strainer, they'll go into the tomato squeezer. I'll just plop a bunch of tomatoes in. Don't do more than you can kind of keep an eye on, otherwise it gets a little hectic but the water temperature will go cool off a little bit. It'll come back up to a boil and the skins will start to crack and when you see the skins cracking then you just grab your tongs and take the tomatoes out of the pot. I don't know if you can see that or not but there's a, a crack in that tomato right along there, there's a crack in that tomato right along there so when you see that, that's, see the skin is actually just coming right off the tomato as I pull it out of the pot. So that's what you're looking for. You, you want those skins to crack. It'll loosen up the skins when they go through the tomato squeezing machine. So Peely Farmer Man is getting the device going. And then little Peely Farmer Boy can take over. Oh. It started. It started. Crank okay. And hold the chair and squish. Good exercise, eh? Okay, let's go take a look at what's happening here. So the tomatoes are being sent down the uh, chute. The puree is coming through the sieve. Mommy, can I have a taste test? <laughs> hey, stop it! Well, keep going, the seeds we get and the, the seeds skin coming are coming out the side. Back. Crank, 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 bud. And the puree is cascading down this nice tray here into the pot. That just shows you um, the skin and the seeds that come out of the machine as you're cranking along. And that we just throw into our compost bucket. How is it? Good. <laughs> okay, so what you end up with here is just um, plain old tomato puree. What you do with it at this point is open for all kinds of suggestions. Um, what I like to do is I like to make my tomato sauce ahead of time with my garlic and onions and eggplant, whatever it is that I'm going to throw in and then can it. Um, because when I come home, it's dinner time. I don't want to make sauce. I want the sauce to be ready. 
So I get that all prepared ahead of time. But we keep some that's just in the puree form as well for doing other things with it. But we'll do the tomato sauce and the canning in a different video. Today we just wanted to show you how the tomato, tomato squeezer works. Oh good grief, the next shipment of tomatoes just arrived on the counter. Uh, well, this is the tomato capital of Canada. Keep squeezing, my son. So there it is, the OMRA 2250, number three. What does OMRA stand for? I have no idea. I even tried looking online and I could not find out, even on their own website. So if somebody knows the answer to that question, please leave a comment. But anyway, if uh, you make a lot of pasta sauce, a lot of tomato sauce, and it's something you've been thinking about getting, and it fits your budget, then think no further because this is really a great tool to have in the kitchen. And this is Peely Farmer Woman signing off from the farm. Thanks for watching. Ribbit.